G'day! In today's video we're going to have a look at how you can play sound effects on your Google Hangouts, on your live streams. It's nice and easy and I'm going to show you uh, the tool that you can download to use and uh, just how you go about getting some free sounds or of course you can just make your own sounds and uh, record them and then use them as you wish on your uh, live stream. Let's get into it. Right, so as you can see, I'm talking on my um, Google Hangout uh, page and beside me um, here, you will see that there is a, um, a little file. And if you look at the name at the top, it says EXP Soundboard. Now that is an, it's an EXE file you just download um, by yourself and, uh, and it runs, you don't have to install it, you just download it and it's ready to use. And you get that from, um, let's go over here, uh, you get that from this page, soundforge.net forward slash projects forward slash EXP soundboard. So there you go. Now um, let's go back to the page we were looking at. So we're back here and we've got EXP soundboard. Now as you can see, I've already got some sounds installed here. So I'll um, I'll show you basically how to use these first. Now you can see I've got applause, drum roll, I've got a few different ones that I've collected and I've got a hotkey next to them. So all I have to do, you can see number one says applause. So if I hit applause, I hit number one. It'll play, it'll play the sound straight away. And um, let's go through some of the others quickly. So if I hit number two, it says it's going to be drum roll. And there you go, there's the drum roll. Ooh. And so on and so forth. So basically you can add any sounds you like to, the, um, to your live stream just simply by uh, using this tool. So how do you go about getting the sounds in the first place? Well, the sounds that I um, gather, I pre predominantly get from this page, from freesound.org. Now, you do have to log in to download the sounds, so you just create yourself an account. It's totally free, and, um, and then you can go searching for whatever sort of sounds you like. Um, and most of them are uh, Creative Commons Zero um, license, which means you don't have to do attribution uh, at all. You don't even have to mention where you got the sound from in your description, which is great. Now I'm going to just give you an example of what I do. So I did a search for um, kettle drum, as you can see here in Freesound, and I came up with all these different sounds. Um, and basically you just hit the play button to listen to them. I'm not sure some of them don't um, sound like the sound I want to use, but here's the sound that I found that I quite like. Timpani roll, Kevin Sticks, it says. So in order to get this sound, all I do is click on here, which takes me across to um, the page where it's actually on. And you can see um, the sound file laid out here. You can see there's a little bit of silence at the beginning and a fair bit of silence at the end. Now, I don't want any of that, but that's OK. I'm going to show you how you can edit that out. So I'll go ahead and download that simply by clicking the download button. And there we go. And it's downloading, it's downloading, it's getting very close. Okay, so once it's downloaded, I'm going to open up another file called Audacity. Now you may have been using Audacity before, I'm not sure, but if you haven't, Audacity is a free tool as well. And I'll put the link to it down in the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Audacity. And that looks like this. So Audacity is uh, a file that I use to edit sounds, basically. So I'm going to bring in the sound that I just downloaded by going open file, open, and it's already on the download page. And here's the sound that I downloaded, timpani roll. So I'm going to open that, just double click it. Now I get the choice to make a copy of the file before editing or read the file directly from the original, which is faster. I just tend to do that because I know if I stuff it up, I can always just download another copy. So I'm going to hit OK on that. And there's the file that you saw on the free sound. And it's got silence at the beginning and at the end. And it's so easy to edit it. It's simply a matter of clicking where you don't want the sound. I don't want this silence. I'm going to select that bit there and then hit the scissors at the top, which is um, there. And you'll delete that sound. 
uh, delete that part of the sound file, sorry, should I say. And I want my timpani roll to end here where the um, where you can see the squiggly line stop and it basically goes back to silence. So I'm going to click there and go that way and delete all of that by hitting the scissors. So now if I were to play this again, let's play it and hear what it sounds like. And there you go. I don't know if you can hear that or not. I hope you can. But as you can see, it starts here and it goes right through to there. So anyway, um, yeah, hopefully, not sure if you can hear that or not. Anyway, um, I'll stop that there and then we'll simply save that as a file without any of those silences on it. So I'm simply going to go file um, and I'm going to go export audio. I want to save it as a, an MP, whoops, where am I? Let's save it as a, actually I'll just save it as a WAV file for now. So I'll leave it as a WAV file and WAV file and simply hit save, but I don't want to save it in downloads. I'm going to save it where I'm going to use it all the time. And that's going to be in my um, music sound effects and save it in there. And you don't have to fill any of this stuff in. You can simply hit OK. All right, so let's get out of Audacity. Save before closing. No, I don't need to save that now. I've already exported it. So we go back over here to uh, my Hangouts. There I am again, hello, <laughs> and EXP. So let's add that drum roll into this. So I simply go to Add. Then I go to here where it says none selected, I hit select. I'm going to go to my music. Um, where am I? I'm going to go to recent items. We'll go to, well, I can go straight to sound effects because I've used it as a recent item. And there is the timpani roll right there. It's so now all I have to do is allocate a hotkey to it. So at the moment, there's nothing allocated to it. And if you remember up here in the soundboard, I've already got hotkeys one to six added. So I'm just going to add the timpani roll as number seven. And all I do is click on there and actually press seven. And you can select any key you like um, on the keyboard. It doesn't have to be the numbers. I'm just choosing to do it that way. So hit done. And now, if I want a timpani roll while I'm in the middle of just talking to you on a live stream, all I have to do is hit 7, and I get the timpani roll. I hope you can hear that. <laughs> yes, uh, it's definitely, um, definitely fun to play around with these sounds. So you go ahead, create your own sounds if you like. You can record your own sounds. Um, you know... <laughs> Here are some more of the silly sounds that I've, I've got. I've got a, num a gong number four. Whoa! <laughs> and I've got a, what's this? And -dum -dum, number five. And all of these are from Freesound. So go ahead, download EXP Soundboard if you like it. Um, just have it set up beside your live stream. And if you want to um, uh, use any of the sounds that you set up beforehand, all you do is simply um, press the hotkey. Now, obviously, if you close the XP soundboard down, then you wouldn't be, um, you know, the none of your hotkeys are going to work. So every time you open up and want to do a live stream, just open up EXP soundboard beside it and you're good to go. Thanks for sticking with me to watch this video. I hope you learned something from this and uh, enjoy playing around with the sounds. It's just a bit of fun, but it may liven up your live stream and make them a bit more uh, interesting. And there's certainly a lot of people doing live streaming at the moment. And you've got to look in YouTube to see how many people are live streaming rather than creating um, videos for upload instead. I'm Ozzy Mark. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget, hit that big old red subscribe button for me. A thumbs up would be lovely. And please give me a comment. What sounds do you think would be great to have on live stream? I'd love to see what you suggest. Maybe I'll even use some of them on my next live stream. Okay, take care. Bye for now. You have a great day. Ta-da.